Hello, says gang. I hope you all are doing wonderful today. My name is Nati. So I will be happy to write to y'all energy. I want you all to take what fits, do what does not. If anything does resonate, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel for our world is needed. Also, says gang, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love, likes, comment. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything that y'all do to help this channel grow. I really love and appreciate you all. All right, says gang. I'm gonna do one more shuffle. I'm gonna hot right into y'all energy. All right, spirit. Energy for Sagittarius. Ooh, we got somebody that has very possessive energy over you. And they could be frustrated. Um, I feel like this person, they, they're they not defensive, but they're frustrated because they can't be defensive right now or something. Energy for Sag. They want to come in and give you some love. <clears throat> and maybe they could have been offering love to others, right? Um, maybe they were very hesitant with offering love to you, so they were offering love to others. But now this person wants to come in and just give you all that they got. <clears throat> um, you are the queen of pentacles here, boss, business, on a very committed, very dedicated to any passion, anything that you put your your anything that you put your heart's desire to, you're gonna be passionate for it. And this person doesn't want that love that you have for them to change. They're very unhappy. They're very sad at this moment. Um, they are wanting to come towards you here. Okay, some of you all could be pregnant. Um, they want to come towards you, but they could be hesitant right now because of some sort of crazy communication. Um, so they're just sitting in there knowing that they have this perspective on you that they do love you that they do want to be with you that they do have all of this passion for you they want to come towards you like i said some of you all could be pregnant from this person or you could have a child from this person here okay so maybe even this person they want to travel to see you some of you all could live in another city state town or country but there's definitely been some sort of disunion because this person failed to realize something here when it came to you, right? They were very stubborn here with the King of Wands. And now they're trapped in their head about this disunion. That could have been some sort of communication that just... Um, give me one second, y'all. Okay, yeah, so that could have been some sort of communication that just really got this person up in their head. I feel like the communication could have went either way. Maybe they could have said something to you. Maybe you could have said something to them. Um, but I do feel like you are looking forward towards either your future, towards just tending to your baby, your child, your something here. You are choosing to avoid someone here. Um, this person could be in jail or prison. Maybe they were in a commitment that they were feeling trapped or stuck or bound in. This could be work. It could be something passionate they were doing. Maybe they were working with others. They were being very passionate towards others. Okay, but right now you are the queen. Of, you could, you guys can have, this is your birth placement for some of you guys. Um, Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Sag, Aries, of course, Sag. You guys can have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in your birth chart. But right now, you are the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You are choosing to neglect your love and you are looking towards the future or you are looking down at your pinnacles or at your money at work here. You're not looking at this person at all. But meanwhile, they are looking at you. Like I said, they are looking at how they've gotten themselves trapped, stuck, or bound. Maybe because of a wand or because of some sort of passion. Maybe they could have been feeling trapped, stuck, or bound with you. Maybe they could have been feeling like you wanted to trap them in something. So they could have avoided you. But right now, you are going to avoid them here. Especially when it comes to love. And you're going to have this person crying tears right now. You're going to have this person in their head here because they do have a lot of passion for you. They were very deceitful, very crafty with their communication. And they do want to come in and offer you some sort of a small amount of love with the page you. They want to be a page after being sneaky here. They could be feeling sorry about being sneaky. 
They want to reunite with you. Some of you all are going to be reuniting with a king of pentacles, a toy Virgo, or a Capricorn. Maybe this could be a king of pentacles here. But I do feel like some of you all are about to be celebrating, <clears throat> small, starting something small with the king of pentacles or a queen of pentacles or a cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. If this is a water sign, this person is not going to have a lot of love. They're going to be a boss. <clears throat> If this is new love, if you are starting something or reuniting with a uh, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces because of this person. Now, if this is just a King of Wands, Gemini, I'm sorry, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay, uh, you might, it's, it's something small, but be watch out if it's a water sign you're reuniting with. Okay, because this water sign might be stubborn or very unreliable, even though they are some sort of boss or something. So watch out for that person. But um, this person could have been juggling you. Maybe at a time when you were vulnerable. You could have been pregnant. You could have been emotional. You could have had a lot of passion. You could have had a lot of love. You could have invested a lot in this person, right? Um, and now you're... They're sitting there thinking about you moving on with someone else. And they are emotionally unfulfilled without you. Like, every picture this person is looking at you. They could be watching you. They can't get enough of you here. It's like they, they're they realizing that you were like... I mean, you're kind of every queen in the deck. I mean, this person does have you a little low vibration when it comes to love. Because you're like, fuck that bitch or fuck that nigga. Um... But they're going to always hold on to you because they see you as, like, their true love or someone that they want to be with. They see you as someone that they're they're willing to change for. Like, this person is up in their head with this. Like, they really love you. Okay? They really love you. But with the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, maybe they've been, like... But with the Queen of Pentacles, you just focusing on yourself. You're choosing to close that cup of love. Sorry, with the Queen of Cups in reverse, I do apologize. Because you are very committed to this person with the Queen of Pentacles, but you're going to be committed to a passion here with the Queen of Wands. You're going to be very determined to be focused on moving forward, okay? You're going to be determined to be focused on being committed to your passion or being committed to somebody new. And this person, they, they're they seeing that they made a fast decision here. They were moving very fast, hasty, irrational, very unpredictable, right? And it fucked them up with you. Now you ignoring them. You are determined. Like, y'all are determined to move forward for some of y'all. I do feel like y'all could be dating a cancel or some of y'all could have, like, water in your birth chart somewhere, but you are determined to either move on to somebody new or you are determined to be single <clears throat> and listen to the messages. But with the lovers, even if you are determined to be single, somehow you're still going to fall into somebody's arms for some reason. Okay, that's just faded. Um, this person, they're going to, ooh, this person is watching you. Look at how, my, my, hold on y'all, let me put my phone on the charger. But look at how <clears throat> they watching you here. <clears throat> they watching you here. They watching you here. They watching you here. They're holding on to you here. They're coming towards you here. They're still watching you here. They can't believe it, but they still pointing towards you here. Like, this person really does love you. Like, you guys have invested some time in each other, with each other, whether that's financially, emotionally, spiritually. They're stressing about their finances. They're stressing about how careless they was. They're stressing about the lies. They're having all these setbacks. They're emotionally overwhelmed. Because, you know, their happiness and their happiness is ignoring them right now. I'm telling you, they're pissed that you're ignoring them. It's also some sort of baby or child here that you can have from them. You you straight though. You independent. You got your own money. You got your own money or you, you're a single father, a single mother. There's some sort of baby with the empress here. You okay. You good without them. They hate that about you. You a hard worker. You holding back. You strong. Uh, this could be a king of swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. 
This King of Cups is stressing because they love you so much. This person is overwhelmed. They can't sleep at night. They could be having nightmares. They they think about their money. They're thinking about their choices. They could have chosen someone with bad health. They're thinking about these setbacks they're going to have or that they're going to have. Again, I feel like this person is kind of worried about karma. This person is worried about karma. Uh, you could be very intuitive. You could be a tarot card reader. This person's name could start with the B or J. Your name could start with the B or J. They're having problems with their family. They're having problems financially. They're they're not getting any money or any. Maybe they chose a family dynamic here. Everything is just a big mess. It's all self destruction that they caused on themselves. They're fighting with everyone in their family. They're manipulative. They could have manipulated others. They're going to start releasing a lot of people for you here. This narcissist who chose all of these third party energies over you, right? They're they're going to. They're so sad. They don't. They. It's like they sad because they gotta release these third parties. That's what's making me mad. Because why? Why the hell you sad? You gotta release these third parties. Are you lying? Telling these people like if you gonna release these third parties and and sadness your happiness, release these third parties. Okay. Um. Don't lie to these third parties about why you're releasing them. Why are you lying to the third parties about why you releasing them? Some of them third parties is sick. They could be sick. They could be losing family members, friends, or something here. They could be lying to family members or friends about why they're releasing releasing them to be with you. Because they, they know that they want to change things around with you. They put up a guard because of their family members, friends, or toxic karmics. If they want to be with you, they, they find out that they want to be with you. They can't stop watching you. They really love you. They want to communicate with you. Okay? Um, but if anything resonates, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Swat Rose is needed. And until next time, bye.